revolution of Furbies! The Furur Ordinarius, or Ordinary Furby, is a native of the forest island Hampton Chung. It was relatively isolated from its predators, allowing the Furby's development to focus more on its mental capacities than physical mobility. Here, the Ordinary Furby lives in physical leisure, spending most of its energy on mental tasks such as creating and sharing memes. Eventually, some Ordinary Furby saw some juicy memes about ships. So, after sharing them, they decided to build a ship. Though they were able to build boats, once they got to sea, the Furby's spines were not strong enough to overcome the strong winds at sea, resulting in the Furby's drowning or returning home. One day, a young Furby, let's call her Fergie, was born with an early version of what we now know as the ACE C gene. The ACE C gene is responsible for producing acetyl copolymer in the spinal cord a plastic substance that strengthens the spine. Fergie set sail with her husband and a few deck hands. Because of her variation, she was better able to captain the ship. Her spine could withstand the ferocious winds. While on board, Fergie and her husband had many children. Those who inherited the Ace C gene survived, and those who did not drowned. After a few generations of living on the ship, all Furbies on board had the Ace C gene. Eventually, the strong-spined Furbies hit land in New York City. Upon reaching the Big Apple, Furbies quickly began to realize the limits of their physical mobility. Despite having the Ace C gene, many Furbies began to die off as they were not able to avoid predators, such as taxis and paparazzis. Two genes began to develop which better suited the Furbies for living in New York, the Oct4 and Jetin genes. First, the OCT4 gene is known to cause more vertebrae to appear in the spinal cord. As testing in mice has proven, part of the reason snakes are so long is because of the OCT4 gene. Whether or not this was a forced move or a mere coincidence is a hot topic in furbiology. Second, the Jetin gene is responsible for stretching and enlarging the shape of each vertebrae. The long furby is the only species known to have the Jetin gene and its recent discovery by the Jetton Research and Development Company prompted its name. While these two genes initially began to develop separately, eventually, after enough crossings of Furbies, only those who had both were able to survive. The now longer Furbies were able to take advantage of their longer form by undulating away from their predators. Hundreds of generations of Furbies went by, each one more successfully escaping predators than the last. Later studies of long Furbies have shown that if the Ace C gene had not appeared while the Furbies were at sea, then the spine would not have been strong enough to support the modifications made by the Oct4 and Jetin genes. All about the evolution of Furbies!